Okay, North Texas, during our recent eclipse, many of you saw this, but some of you saw this in the corona. Look at some areas that are protruding out of the corona. Actually, that was what we call the solar prominence. That's actually the solar eruption extending outward from the sun's surface, and it's actually made of plasma that's comprised of a hot gas of electrically charged hydrogen and helium. Now, also, how long do they last? Actually, they may persist in the corona for several months. There you go. Actually, those coronas can extend outward of 200,000 miles. That's almost the distance between the, at least the Earth and the moon. It has a diameter of about 28 times the Earth, and you see how the, at least the solar prominence is in relation to the Earth there. Meanwhile, of course, there's a difference between those prominences as well as solar flares. Now, they're anchored to the sun, but solar flares actually burst out from the sun. Now, it has a lower ejection speed, but solar flares actually can eject at the speed of light by hitting the Earth at 8 minutes and 20 seconds. That's very fast. Now, it has no impact on the Earth, but solar flares can actually cause some problems in the Earth's atmosphere, disrupting communication and also the power grid. So who knew? Keep looking out, but sometimes just don't look at the sun. Have a great one.